What do successful owners know about their results? What do successful owners know about their results? What do they know about their results? This is an interesting topic. Welcome to today's episode. My name is Tom Rowley. You want results. I want results. Life rewards results. Life gets better when you get results. Whether that's a result in your health, in your fitness, in your body, in your sex life. Whether that's a result in your relationships with those who are important to you, your family, your loved ones, your team, whether that's results in your relationship with life itself, with intelligence that made this or however this thing happened, whether you want to call that God or Allah or whatever your particular name, my favorite name, one of my friends, he said, I, I have a relationship with Bob. I'm like, who's Bob? He's like, Bob's this, everything. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. But there's a result that can be had there. And then there's one more result that you're probably interested in if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner. And that is around your business success, around the amount of money that you take home, the profits from the business. How much impact are you making on your customers? How are you making their life better? The results that you get for them will directly impact the results that you get for yourself. So if you can get them a better result, then you will get a better result for your life. This is exciting. And so the game then that successful owners know is that their results are not random. Their results are not random. If you are looking at your results and either they're not good, they're bad, you're like, ah, man, we're not profitable, we're not selling enough, we don't have enough leads, they've got problems in my business, or you have variable results. One week, you're killing it. One week, it's bad. Up, down, up, down, up, down. What's going on? You have random results. And you might think that they are random, but I would have you consider the fact that to me, they are not. They are just evidence of a failed execution of a system. Now, there's two possibilities here. One is the system works and you or your team failed to execute it. And this is very common. This is very common. That there is a set of processes, a set of protocols, a set of instructions, step, 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 step. There might be some time frames on them. There might be some raw materials that are required. There might be some creativity required. There might be some execution required, some money put behind it to get stuff done. But that process, that step, 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 will create the result if it had been executed correctly. If it had been correctly executed. Now, you could have an error here that the steps were missed, so it wasn't correctly executed, or there was time frames that got messed up. This leads to half-built bridges. You're like, I'm going to build a bridge across the chasm. And you're going to build half a bridge and then it all falls apart because you need to build another bridge and another bridge and like, okay, we'll need to do this one. So you end up with a half bridge and a half bridge. And I mean, this is the challenge of business. You've got to get multiple bridges across multiple chasms at the same time in marketing, in sales, in advertising, in fulfillment, in team, in accounting. So you've got to build all these bridges and what typically happens is a bridge gets half built and then another one needs to be built urgently. So that one gets left and then the next one and you never get anything done. And that random results then has you trying to jump from a half bridge across the chasm. And you're like, sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. 
So you've got a working system. You've got a working set of documents that if your team could execute them, then you would get consistent results. But they do not, so you get variable results. You get random results. And you're like, man, I don't understand why. I'm like, well, it's pretty obvious you skipped this step and this step. You didn't complete this step within the required time frames, and then you wonder why you are getting random results. If only you did every step, 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 in the required time frame, step, 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 you would get a consistent result. So that's one possibility. Second possibility, that your ability to actually create a set of instructions that gives you the result that you want is off. You don't know how to do that. It's not that hard because you can run that system and look what results you get and go, ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. And then you could change it. You go, okay, I can see it. This step here, we went off course. I'm going to change that. And now that is going to get what I want. This is why you must know what the result is that you want. If you want to fly a rocket to the moon, that's the result that you're after. And then you're going to look at, well, what do we need to do? Whoa, we've got a lot to do here. If you want to make a million dollars in business, you got to go, okay, well, what would it take for me to have a million dollars in business? And let's say that's per year and it works out. You've got to sell about $83,000 a month and that'll get you a million dollar business. And you might round that up. And that's just your raw revenue, by the way. That is not your take-home profit. And that is not your payment. But nonetheless, if you could work out a way to consistently have enough leads, consistently go through a funnel or a sales process or a phone call, however you're making your sales, and have that happen, then if that happens, then you will get a million-dollar business. If you fail to do that, then you won't. You'll be like, man, something wrong with me. No, no, there's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. You just didn't consistently execute your systems. Or, number two, your system doesn't work. Get a new system. Guess what? People are selling their systems. They don't call them systems. They call them fancy names. But they're selling their systems. How to get clients in 30 days. That's a system. How to create your next million dollar project product. That is a system. How to consistently have up-to-date books so that you know where you are in business and you can make better decisions. That's a system. All of these things are systems. They don't call them systems because no one wants to have a system. Why? Because it's like eating broccoli. You know you should eat broccoli. I know I should eat broccoli, but broccoli sucks, you know? Unless you do it in like fancy sauces, like Chinese style. Now, now broccoli is good. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I like that Chinese style broccoli. Asian greens, Chinese style. This is some good stuff. But raw broccoli, whew, man. It's a tough sell. It's a tough sell. You know you should. So they dress it up with the Chinese dressings or they put it in the fancy green smoothie and they sell you this. And it's still broccoli. But it tastes good when it's in a green smoothie. It tastes good when it's in the Chinese sauce. But these are all just systems. And even when you buy their stuff, most people will fail because they do not understand how to consistently execute. And therefore, they get poor results or random results. This ability to consistently execute can be greatly enhanced if you track the work that needs to be done. You're like, okay, I'm going to do step one. I'm working on that, and now it's done. Now I'm going to move to step two. And when that is done, I'm going to mark that done. Tracking your processes will help you. Most people don't. Most people are just happy even to get to a stage of having documented the steps. This next level of tracking the steps, now this gets you some superpowers. Guess what? You get distracted, you come back, you know what you're working on. Guess what? You can see the work of the week that needs to be done. This is powerful. And successful business owners know this. They know that the work must be done to spec 
consistently and they get their teams to follow the instructions. It's like use the SOPs. Here's the SOP. I'm going to put it next to your computer and you're going to use it. Or if you are fancy, you can have a second screen. Oh, look at that. You could have the instructions with the work, just like Lego. How much skill does it take to build a Lego? If you have the instructions, not much. Seven-year-olds can do it. Five-year-olds can do it. Four-year-olds can do it. You are older, most likely, if you're in business, than four years old. But the principle of follow the instructions to create the outcome is the same in Lego as it is in business. When you start to see this, when this begins to open up for you, like, oh, wow, wow, okay, cool, I'm getting this. This isn't so hard. You've been thinking systems is like eating broccoli. No, no, systems is like building Lego. It's fun. It's fun. It's like, oh, wow, this is kind of fun. It's fun to build Lego. Or perhaps you have become too old and too grumpy. You're like, perhaps you've forgotten the joy of Lego. I love it, man. It's super fun. Super fun. Like, Lego is the coolest thing ever. It is like a system in a box. Every single Lego is a system in a box. And what do you get? You get the raw ingredients, you get the instructions, you do all the things, and voila, you got the finished model. What else is like systems? Cooking, recipes, ingredients, instructions, outcome. If you mess up the recipe, sometimes there will be forgiveness. Like whether you put the milk, the flour, and the salt and the egg in all together, or you mix them up in the right, you know, you put in the eggs and then the milk, or the milk, then the eggs. A lot of recipes are okay like that, but some are not. Some require the egg, and then the flour, and then the salt, and then the milk. Others, it doesn't matter. So you've got to know which one's which, which ones must be executed in the right order in order to get that result. And when you get this, this is the insight. This is that systems mindset that e-myth speaks of, that work the system speaks of, that systemology speaks of. They are coming from a place where they have realized that your results in business are directly attributable to how consistently you go. All right, that's all I got for you today. Hope you had an awesome day and I'll catch up with you soon. Uh, which would be tomorrow as we continue to execute on the daily Facebook Live and distribute it out to all the channels. This is just, yet again, another system. You need some help and you would like to have consistent results in business, then head over to systemio.dev. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll catch you soon on the next episode.